What's up everybody, Chill Scrub here. And as promised, we are finally here with the Hiachi guide. I did a guide on Kazuya first. Well, actually Law first, then Kazuya, Jin, and now Hiachi. So I just wanna go over an overview with the character before we actually break into it. Like what are the strengths and weaknesses and things of that nature. As far as strength, uh, Hiachi pokes are amazing. One of the, he has a very solid jab, a lot of range, very good down four at one, very strong poking, extremely good mids. Uh, excellent punishment as you expect from any other Mishima in the game. Where his weaknesses lie is his homie moves are pretty slow. His lows are really not that good, but he's a character that you don't want to duck on anyway because of his solid mid, so he can get away with lows for free. And his while standing punishment in season one through three wasn't the best, but with the season four, he got a recent buff to his punishment with his while standing punishment being an 18 frame launcher. Pretty much the same as Kazuya's while standing two. So that's another thing. And another great thing about Hiachi, he does a lot of damage. He, like he does a lot of damage without a corner. He doesn't need a wall to do a lot of damage like most characters do. And he doesn't need extremely long wall carry. That's another thing that uh, Hiachi does. His wall, carry, his wall carry isn't the best. And it's kind of hard to execute because in certain situations you have to do uh, electric, electric tail spin and then go uh, run forward, go neutral, and then do back for uh, back forward two, one and then get a wall splat and then rush and do a, a hell sweep four into one plus two which is dragon's breath so let's go ahead and get into the basis of the character uh let's start with his jab and what he can do off of the jab so his standard jab is one and now like a lot of people say uh like like we criticize jen for having a weak jab or his jab not having any range uh, he actually doesn't have that issue his jab actually from the start of a match can actually hit so if the person does nothing or moves forward you can just attack with jab and it's going to hit because of the range even though it pushes him back a little bit you can still get a hit see how far he is away he still hits that's how the, that's how good his jab range is his down for one is pretty much exactly the same it, it has extremely long range really really good one of the most fundamental tools you're going to use uh other poking tools that are uh, really good to use because i always start with pokes and fundamentals uh you're going to be using uh, a lot of uh i'll lose down one even though it's linear it can be sidestepped uh it's really good it has a lot of range good solid mid 16 frames plus two on hit so it's another thing that you want to use a lot uh his back one is really strong for a poke just to keep people from stepping to check the step because a lot of intermediate and advanced players they like to step a lot so this is a move that you would definitely use to check on a step uh it comes out at 15 frames so it's pretty decent it's not something that you would be spamming you definitely don't finish the stream because it's a high high stream most people are uh will end up ducking if they're good enough so you just do the one and check uh i think on block it's it's relative it's, it's minus 11 but nobody's going to actually punish it because the second hit so it's just like lost back one string no people get away with just doing the first or second hit because you don't want to get hit by the third hit uh another poking tools with hiachi is the same as fuck is, is kazuya and uh and jen for the most part you know you got your uh your wave dash four you know you want to abuse that as much as possible uh, minus three, so you get the, the standard where you can actually sidestep after the fact. Oops, I did a jump. Sidestep after the fact and, you know, be relatively safe. And, you know, sidestep counts are one of the things I want to, you know, get everybody to actually do instead of just doing loose sidesteps and getting popped in the mouth because doing this is not safe. Uh, another poking tool you can use with Hiachi is this down, uh, down forward four. Down forward four is actually has a good, it has a good hitbox. Uh, very solid range. It's a 12 frame mid plus five on block is, uh, plus minus six safe but you really can't step step remember in the last guy i told you anything that's like minus five well yeah anything minus five and below is pretty much safe for stepping minus six and up you don't want to try to step because you're really on advantage and it takes about five frames for the side step to be active you know so you want to be careful with that uh as far as poking low poking tools you pretty much just have down four and his down four has a lot of range but as you can see it's already minus two on hit so it's something that you want to use if you're like especially if you're mirror matching with kazuya's or you're mirror matching with a, another a mishima player and you just want to use the down for to you know stuff electrics because on counter hit i believe the move is it's still minus two but you get a little extra damage so that's always good um another poking tool i like to use with hiachi it's, it's pretty much just the, the down the jab the down for one the down for four uh the back one the check the back four to also check for uh for people stepping and on top of that this is a counter hit launcher so if the person just happens to be matching buttons they do a side step into a move you go ahead and hit them for the launch and you can go ahead and follow up whatever you want to so i'm just gonna do a, do a quick follow up oops let me, let me try that again 
Uh, yeah. And you can get a shit ton of damage, so... There's things like that with Hiachi. You always always want to capitalize when you actually get a good solid hit on somebody with Hiachi. You want to make it hurt. That's the whole point of the character. He is one of the most unforgiving missions to make a mistake on. Kazuya is definitely one of those too, but definitely you don't want to make a mistake with Hiachi. Uh, overall with Hiachi, you just want to harass the opponent and make force them to make a mistake with his great poking tools. Unlike Kazuya, he has great poking tools. Well, Kazuya has good poking tools, but... He actually has better poking tools with a better down forward one, a better range on his jab, and special properties on his forward four. So let's talk about some more key moves that I like to use. As as usual, you're going to be using uh key moves are the same poking moves I just gave you, but like as far as like actually playing, you're going to use a lot of electrics. Oops, which is not that. Um good lord. Good. <laughs> I promise you I can do it. Okay, so you're going to be doing things like that. Electric. We already know uh, what stapled electrics is plus five on block. But again, with the with the, with the the electric one guy fist, you always have to be careful because you're resetting the neutral. Actually, you're further resetting the neutral because you start off here. So when you do this, you end up all the way back here. And that's if you're trying to rush down with Hiachi, which you're trying to do anyway. You can play them either way, but I prefer to actually like get in their face with them. Uh... It kind of defeats the purpose because now you have to do wave dashing to get in or you got to be careful on your approach because some people like do random things. So you want to be careful. So like uh, at the wall, of course, it's always something that you want to spam the electric wind god fist. So we can just go to the wall real quick. Same thing with the Kazuya god. Uh, go to the wall real quick. Uh, restart settings. Something you can always spam at the wall. Oops. I promise you I know how to play this game. I promise you I do. There you go. Something like that you always want to spam at the wall. Uh, but, again, you can always be ducked. So the weakness with the uh, Electric Wind God Fist, it can be ducked. And you can be, get punished for it really hard for uh, overly using it. But it's definitely one of the key tools that you're going to be using to put fear in your opponents. Um, another move is that I use, and you know it's one of my favorite moves with Hiachi, is, of course, the Ford 4. Now, with Hiachi's forward four, it has special properties where if you catch your opponent crouching while hitting with the forward four, you get a free, uh, you get a free uh, down forward one two. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like right now. Uh, we're going to put him in crouch. So if he's crouching, you get this, and that does a shit ton. So even at the wall, it gets even worse because he can combo off of it from the wall. The thing that you don't want to get hit by. So we're going to just put it at the wall real quick. Just give you a quick example. So four four big damage so 80 damage just from crouching at the wall this would definitely help a lot of green rank players a lot of players that uh that are uh that are crouch heavy if you notice that, that your opponent likes to you know uh twitch duck or they like to uh fuzzy guard they like the fuzzy guard a lot this is one of the tools that you definitely want to use you want to use the four for especially with hiachi and spam it especially with the buffs they gave it in this uh in this iteration of season four where it doesn't pop them back every time you use it on block change the uh, action settings back to stand so you can pretty much just spam it like and it just keeps them in place and season one through three it will push them back so that's another thing so it's a very strong lockdown tool one of the essential key moves that you're going to use with uh hiachi and kazuya so it's interchangeable between both characters the only thing with hiachi is he does get that uh property where if you catch a person crouching you get a free down for one too especially at the wall it's a shit ton of damage 80 damage without rage hurts really bad uh let's talk about his uh what's, what's another key move that i like to use um moves that are flashy that you won't be using uh, like a move like the omen thunder god fist that i just didn't do god you won't be using it that often what i can't do right now for whatever reason it's flashy it's, it's, it's a cool move, but it's minus 10. It's punishable on block. It's not something that you want to spam. But the thing about the Omen Thunder Goth is it does have high crushing properties. So if a person that you know likes to retaliate with jab, if you're good enough, me personally, at this at this state, I'm not that good anymore. Uh, you can retaliate with uh, an Omen Thunder Goth Fist. To do the Omen Thunder, Thunder Goth Fist the right way, you would have to do forward, neutral, then down forward. Not down, down forward. Just forward, neutral, down forward. It should look like that. 
or it's not going to show on my input list but i'm just going to do some inputs and you can see it right there so it's going to show uh the forward and it's going to show down forward and on that down forward the first down forward frame is going to show the jab button so that's a just frame move uh does a lot of damage it's one of his most strongest launcher that you can use in the game it's i wouldn't put it as a key move because it's not something that you necessarily need to play hiachi but it's good to know how to do it and of course as i just said it has its benefits of being able to crush highs just be wary that it's minus 10 and a lot of characters like hiachi uh kazuya jen uh, they get 10 frame knockdowns and you don't want to be in a situation where you get knocked down and have to deal with vortex so that's the omen thunder god fist i already mentioned the forward four the wild standing four is an all-purpose move an all-purpose high that you're going to be using no matter what character that you're playing uh most characters have this typical st uh, wild standing four but hiachi just like kazuya they go into the uh the tsunami kicks after uh when a wild standing four or a crouch dash four no matter how, how you want to say it so it goes like this well, not like that not like that either so it goes into the tsunami kicks right and the tsunami kicks are always minus four on hit wait his is zero wow that's that's different well kazuya's uh when you do down four 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 it's minus four but his is zero so understand that when you do that and you complete a punish like that uh while standing four it's no longer your turn you really set the, the advantage to neutral versus you just doing the first hit and you are plus eight and you're free to pretty much harass your opponent however you see fit so if you want to mix in a grab that's fine if you want to uh do another down four one to check that's fine if you want to be uh spicy and do a, a and and do an electric that's cool too or if you want to check for the side step you can always do it with the back one or the back four and you can be perfectly fine because the, the back four is uh is uh is 18 frames so it'll be 10 frames well yeah it'll be 10 frames with the addition of the plus eight from the uh from the wild standing four so that's always good things to know um again a key, another key tool as i just said before the down four is something that you're definitely going to want to use especially in the matchup versus uh hiachi another hiachi player kazuya player gen player uh double gen player things of that nature uh so those are some of the key moves i really use or homing moves of course now let's talk about some strings with hiachi hiachi has uh it's kind of like jenny has pretty good strings uh you know you have his standard one one two that you will, will never use in, in as anything else but a punish uh but you always use the one one you know the one one is really strong the beginning of the flash punch it is it's minus one on block just like kazuya's but it's a good thing to do you know just check and you can always step afterwards so and on top of that with all mishima characters that have the flash jab a combination you can uh hit confirm it so you can visibly see if it hits stagger it a little bit and do the uh two at the end and it always connects if you didn't know that already because this is a beginner to advanced guide so i'm just going over the basics first and then going to the intermediate stuff and then eventually the advanced stuff so flash combination always great he has uh a down four one extension which is his uh down four one one now as we stated before that his down four one is plus nine right so with down four one one it's plus four now this good is this move is very good it does a decent amount of damage uh plus four and it sets you at the perfect range to where you're not too far away uh to if you want to jab again or do another move you're not too far away where it could whiff or if they even back dash after the fact let me put it on back dash and i think it should still hit uh ground technique stand up um guard all I'll put it on back dash so after the first hit he should be fine you still have room to actually poke if you want to oops so things like that you can still poke and like be safe or if you want to chase him down you can you can do that now i know y'all are wondering why i didn't mention the the fort forward two is one of the key moves you will use the reason why i don't i don't want new players to use the fort forward two as a key move it's a good move but it's not a key move in my opinion it's because good players will punish you for doing this especially at the wrong time and you end up getting hit in the face uh this is a good oki tool which i will talk about later on but it's not a key move that i will use that often so that's that's the reason why i didn't mention 442 for anybody in the chat the chat section well why did you mention 442 like that that's the reason why because a lot of people they they get too dependent on it and they want to they think it's a long range launcher but characters like log they can uh three plus four it or jen can four for it for the easy punish or go for the dash electric kazuya can dash electric or uh 
I think he has another way of punishing. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But it's, it can be punishable. It's, it's minus a lot. So it's minus 16. So I want to get in the habit of players like playing very compact and very safe when they play the game. I don't want them to go crazy. Or if you're going to apply pressure, apply pressure where you're taking minimal risk. You're going to take risk when you're uh, doing offense anyway, but you want to minimize as much risk as you possibly can. So... With that being said, back to strings, uh, we was talking about the down four one, where you can chase down, even if they try to get away, you can chase down, it's a good string to use. Um, he has down, uh, down, well, one, back two, which is a good string, it's a good check string, it's just like how Jen has his, uh, his two one, his uh, Hiachi's down, uh, his jab, uh, back two is really good to check people uh, that like to, you know, back dash or like to crouch a lot or try to step, it'll catch them. I think you can step it to the left, so I'm gonna try to put him on side step, uh, side step left or sidewalk left. I'm gonna put side step, sidewalk, sidewalk is he's easier. So, hold on, um, and I'm gonna put the first thing on guard all. So, just put it on guard. So, so yeah, it'll catch a step. So if they try to step it, they'll get popped in the face, and. Uh, it stops stepping it stops ducking it's a good all-around uh string that you want to use to keep to keep the pressure on and so they can't really get away and it hasn't it has another uh extension to the string too so it has a mid two mid strings that you can step so it has uh the, uh i would say oh i'm gonna say ocg because it's not a, a a one frame link but it's pretty good um it's pretty much just thunder god fist and then he has uh, he has the the jab version or the kick version, which is this, uh, which is four. So, the thing about the four version is, is you can get jabbed out of it, and that's that's not that's never a good thing. A string like a string like that, but at the higher levels, people are going to know this. So it's something that um, beginner players. I'm telling you for uh, from personal experience, you don't want to just spam like that because you'll get hit out of it. I'm just going to give you an example real quick. I'm just going to tell put the computer to do the string, and we're just going to go from there. So I'm do jab. Like that, so I'm gonna do like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and record it, and I'll just help back just so he. I make sure he's guarding. So I'm just gonna show you what happens, and then you get floated, and then you can get comboed. So if you want to see what the full combo would look like, that's something simple that you can do. Like a more advanced combo would be something like this. And this is all because you decided to. Uh, this is all because you decided to like, you know, I want to extend uh, strings and this is why good Tekken players, they don't really rely on strings that often. They use the most valuable part of the string and they stop right there. They don't overuse the string and end up getting punished for it because no matter how uh, good a string is, if a person knows how it works and they know how to get around it, it's not effective anymore. So you want to keep it simple, keep it short, keep it sweet. So most good players that will stop right here. They will stop at the jab and the back two. So that's a really good check string. Make sure they're not ducking. You can always go with the jab down for one. That's the classic. That's the, that's, that's Tekken class. That's Tekken one on one right there. The jab down for one. But what he actually has a built in high mid string. So why not take advantage of that? And it's plus eight on hit. So if they just happen to like, you know, they get hit by their plus eight and they're still stuck where they can't move. And if they just happen to block it, you're still safe. Hold on. Uh, pick the sidewalk off. It's, Stand guard and uh, guard all. So you're minus two. So you can still step and do whatever you need to do. And if you want to be cheesy, this is a cheesy tactic that I, I don't encourage people to do. But I'll uh, I'll tell you how to beat it later. Is to do something like this, where if they want to retaliate with a high, you can go ahead and a high crush it slash mid crush it with the uh, the down back one plus two. Again, I'm not using the cheesy moves. He actually has a lot of cheesy moves. I want to get y'all to be very competent and very uh, smart players, not rely on cheesy moves to get you through. That that'll never help you in the long run. So. Uh, going back to strings uh he's the down four one the one back two that's really good he also has uh into dragon's breath so he has a one two mid string he has the one two two string which is minus 12 you don't ever use that as besides a punish it's plus four on hit if you want to see what that looks like i can just show you real quick it's plus four on hit um i use it personally when i when i want to keep the pressure on and i don't want to knock him down and go for the fuzzy mix up i definitely use it with with a kazuya a lot so it's a good move to use but if you know that if you're on blocking you know they're gonna uh they're gonna block they're gonna block or they're gonna try to interrupt you can always go for the, the demon's breath or dragon's breath and it's minus six so it's, it's safe as hell 
So it's one of those fundamental things that a lot of Hiyashi players don't do anymore. You can't step it. It is steppable. Um, I believe it's steppable to the uh, to the right. So we're just going to set up to a side step right. Or side walk, uh, side walk left, my bad. So, see, you can st see how he just stepped it right there. So it can be stepped. You want to be careful about that. But if you're in a situation where you know your opponent doesn't like to step, or especially at the beginning of level state, their movement is really not that good, and they're not very knowledgeable of the game, you can get away with things like this. Uh, so it's minus six and it's safe. Just be careful. You know, you don't want to just, you know, do things and get yourself killed. Put it back on guard all. Yeah, put it all back on guard all, and uh, I guess I can go with stand. So, yeah, that's that's about it. Um, with the strings that I preferably like to use, uh, you can also, he has strings like, like this that you're never going to fucking use in the game ever. Uh, he has three, four. It's another string that you will probably never use. It, it, these are things that you're not never going. You're never going to use. I mean, they're cool to know if they, what they are. Uh, this is a counter hit launcher, by the way, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But again, you're never going to be using these things. Like you, they, they're just going to get stepped. Uh, so now we got strings out the way. We got some of the, the key moves that you want to use out the way. Uh, we can go towards. Uh, I guess some some basic combos that you will probably use because i know in most of my guys i never really go over combos like that i mostly go over basic fundamental strings and things of that nature so uh we could just take the guard off guard off now so we we just want to combo hiachi to death so the most simple combo that i would start off somebody with is something like uh i guess electric one two hell sweep into uh into finisher and hell sweep into uh thunder god fist that's as simple as it gets uh the intermediate combo that i would probably throw out is like electric electric uh something like that and the thing about it is you're like well your shield is not electric well in this game they are very lenient with uh with the combos and like how to how you time them in tag two i wouldn't have got away with that it had to be an electric but in this game they're very lenient so you can get away with a god fist the only problem is the God Fist does less damage than the actual Electric. As you can see, the God Fist did 20 damage. Electric does 23 damage. So you want to get the Electric to optimize and maximize the damage. So uh, that's two combos you can do right there. Another combo you can also do is Electric. Well, good Lord. If you notice out a wall there, you can do something like that. Or you can uh, another beginner friendly combo or something like this. That's what that's with the wall. Without a wall, you can finish it with the same thing where you go into uh, omen stance and then two one. That's that's really cool. Um, that was that's those are three basic combos I use. If you want to be a try hard sweat advanced player, you can go. Well, this is the staple combo. Um, uh, good lord. Uh, <laughs> right now I, I i can't do it uh but yeah that's that's the staple right there that that is definitely the staple that you want to master um as far as like advanced combos you can do uh otgf combos which are very flashy they do a lot of damage and, and a lot of wall carry something like this it's a staple or you can do the double omen thunder Godfist if you're really good Which I'm not right now. Good lord. I keep hitting it on a second frame, guys. I'm so sorry. There you go. Something like that does a, a shit ton of damage um something that you if you can do it and you're very comfortable doing it go ahead and go for it but if you're not comfortable doing that it's, it's, it's better to win the match doing a basic combo than try to style on your opponent then you end up losing because you drop the combo and he comes back when this game has a lot of comeback mechanics you want to be careful with it with things like that so those are the combos i basically use uh we can go with the 442 as well because i didn't show you that so the staple 442 oops When did I get so bad at this game?
So that's the staple with the fort for it too. Um, that's another good combo you want to use uh, as far as like just open like like an open stage like infinite azure stages where no walls are at or any kind of like balcony breaks or you know wall breaks or anything like that that's that's those are the combos you use i'm telling you these combos so like just in case you don't have a stage to the wall you ain't relying on using wall enders or things like that i'll get to wall enders later on well since i'm on the, on the topic of combos i could just do wall enders now uh so we're just gonna put ourselves at the wall we'll put him at the wall and then we're gonna beat the crap out of him and show you the wall enders so most of the wall enders you're gonna be using are things like this most stereotypical wall enders so dragon's breath definitely not that that's the normal ender you can do this for oki because it gives a, a good situation this right here but you see how he pops out depending on the situation you could pop out so you want to be careful about how he lands if you do it too high that's perfect so that's another one that you will like to do it does a little bit more damage so i like that um or you can do the most basic one, which is down for it, one one, and then one plus two with the dragon's breath. So you could just do, which I didn't. Just, I don't know why it didn't come out. All right, so that's another thing you can do. Uh, wall, high wall splat, low wall, uh, or general wall splat, and then down for it, one one, and then one plus two. That'll get you to uh, you get no Oki off of, it, and that's another problem with Hiachi. A lot of his wall enders, and a lot of uh, pro players they understand this, or a lot of advanced players or intermediate players understand that you don't get any Oki situations off of like doing like wall ender combos. You mostly do it for the damage to try to kill him, or you try to set up for another Oki situation. So uh yeah that's that um let's go with uh some lows because I, I didn't really go over his lows like that so with hiachi let's go to the uh set it back to the default position so hiachi's lows are meh as i said before you get the uh let me put it on guard all so you get the, the down back two which does a shit ton of damage um you get the down four which is pretty good uh, you get the wild standing four, which you already know. In this game, you can go for four, four, two, and if they get up wrong, you get a hit. So, so things like that. Um, his lows, those are the main lows you're going to be using. The problem with his lows are they're all lunch punchable besides down four. Um, so you take a huge risk when you don't have to really use it like that. His throw game is okay, but his lows are are, are his weakest his weakest point. He's, it's not like Kazuya where Kazuya has a stature kick, Jin has a stature kick. Uh, Double Jin has pesky lows that can that can actually harass you at some point, like down three, uh, down back two. He has harassing lows. Down back two is extremely good because it crushes highs. In some cases, it will crush a mid. So he has they have tools that that can make you want to duck eventually because you don't want to keep e eating the little small chip damage over and over and over again because it adds up over time. Hiachi is not so much. So what he he's either he's going for broke with every time he hits you with a low because as you can know nice chunky damage with the down back two is 25 damage. It's not like a little nick where it's like seven damage here, ten damage here, twelve damage here. It's 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 a lot of damage each time he hits you with it. Or he goes for the knockdown and possibly goes for more damage with the four four two follow up. So those are the things. That's the reason why I don't really talk about his lows. His lows are actually not that good, but. He doesn't really need it. Uh, his throw game. Let's talk about his throw game real quick. Uh, he has two command throws. I think it's Broken Toy. If I'm not mistaken, I'm just have to check them. I haven't. I don't ever use that throw. Uh, I know he has a thong. Oh, it's a it's core circle back. The bro Broken Toy throw, which is a one break uh, that you're really never going to use like that. You can to mix it up, but the problem, the reason why no pro player uses this throw, because you can see his arm winding. That's the only time you will ever see something like that, and you know it's a one break. This is the only thing. This is the only time you would use this throw if you're trying to style on your opponent, and you know you want to make them. Uh, you want to be a jackass for the most part. You just want to be a jackass. Uh, the throw you're probably going to be using the most, which gives the best situations, is two throw. But it switches sides, so be careful with that. And his uh, his one throw gives a pretty good Oki, I guess. This is okay. Leaves you at minus one, but the position is pretty good. Um, or his stone head throw, which is the most traditional uh, Mishima throw that you're going to use, plus 26. And if they don't like, 
you don't get a free follow up but you get a free free pretty much good okie off of that so that's one of the things you want to use so that's his throw game overall it's not nothing major or anything like that uh, we could talk about talk about i guess rage because his rage options are actually not that bad he is one of the characters that have combo extending rage drives, which is always good to have. The only problem is uh, it's very situational. It's not something you just throw out there every time. But he has two ways of doing it. Um, put it in rage first. Other settings, rage. All right, so rage is on. So he has a stereotypical rage art, which that isn't it. Um, that isn't it either. Down one plus two. So it does okay damage. But again, like when a situation where you're trying to pressure your opponent, look how far back you are. You don't really want to use it. So most people don't really use Hiachi's Rage Drive unless they're trying to, you know, eat a hit and get a, get a punish that way. Or he uses Rage Drive, which is the only pro is a great Rage Drive because even if they block it, you're plus nine, get a free mix up. Um, or you can just do it from back two. Which is guaranteed. So if you do the jab down for one, uh, jab back two version, it's not guaranteed. But if you do the back two version, it's guaranteed. So it's things like that you want to be careful of. You get a free mix up, and you can do it in combo. So let's say you get a wall, sp um, a tail spin. Got him so bad. You do a shit ton of damage. So that's that's the standard that you will probably be using it for. Is to extend the combo and you want to keep your rage damage and all these other things that way you can optimize the damage and all these and pretty much really hurt them for doing something stupid uh, you can also if you get a counter hit uh, jab I'm just gonna put it on counter hit for one quick second um, players counter hit uh, counter hit so if you do get the counter hit jab it's all guaranteed And that fucking hurts, and you eat a lot of damage. So, if you know you're going to get the counter hit, like you set him up for as, as a situation where you know he's going to press, uh, say in a situation where you hit him with uh, a down four at one, and he just happens to press a jab, and you just go ahead and bust his ass with that. He deserves everything that comes to him, and he pretty much dies for it. So, Hiachi Rage isn't the best thing, but it's pretty it's pretty solid. It's, it's not something that you want to use and abuse like that. I mean, if you know you want, to, want some time to think, you can just go ahead and just pop that real quick and get you a chance to think if it's on block. Um, put, the, put the Rage on still and take the counter hit off. So, if you just need some time to think and think about your decision, you know, you can back off or you want to press the issue. You know, you can go for it down for a one. Make sure you check him so he doesn't try to do anything funny. And especially at the wall, if he presses anything, he's probably fucking stupid. He's gonna die, and then he dies. So let's talk about punishment because I know as he as a Mishima player, that's what one of the main things you want to work on. So I want to just get like the little simple stuff out of the way. So this is more the intermediate stuff, the punishment, frame data stuff like that. So uh, at ten frames, uh, let me go to record because that's where most of the stuff can come from. Take the rage off because that can be a little bit distracting. Rage off. And let's go to record. So we're just going to do something simple like 112. All right. So 112 is a standard string. It's minus 15. Uh, you can launch punish it with electric, but we're just going to talk about his basic punishes. So at, uh, at 10. He gets one one two one two two and that, those are the two punishes he gets at, at those uh at those ranges he gets one one two one two two right um or just jab so at i think at 12 frames because he doesn't get anything at 11 at 12 frames i believe he gets yeah he gets uh demon's breath so let me just set him up for the punch he gets demon breath if they don't take it you get a free follow-up if they do, if they don't take you, get a free follow up. They do take it. You're far away, so you've pretty much reset the neutral all over again. So y'all gotta play the uh, the footsies game, trying to get in. So that's his 12 frame Punisher. At 13 frames, you know, of course, he gets uh, whoops, he gets down for one. Or for the knockdown, he gets down for one too. And at the wall, as we said before, it wall splats really dangerous. Uh, not something you want to get hit by. So we're just gonna put it at the wall, let him do it. Oops. Good lord, chill. Alright. 
and so forth and so forth and he gets fucking destroyed for being stupid uh at 14 frames that uh, you get electric which i can't do right now because this controller is fucking busted but there you go so crispy electric as i said in the gen guide and the kazuya guide this is something that you don't have to do it's good to know how to do it but it's not something that you just have to do that the timing is so strict that you have to really wait and then input it really fast like that you have to you have to really be on it and that's why a lot of players that's the why the meme always happens where they say well mishima players uh they have a tool that they can punish moves with an electric at 14 frames but they choose the 112 because the 112 is just it's just simply just easier you know at 12 frames i forgot you get the headbutt as well godly uh there we go so you get the headbutt it's a good punish they can also take out of that if they don't you can get an omen thunder god fist if you're hardcore but most people we're gonna go for we're just gonna go for the 442 and keep it simple right so um let's see we said talk about 14 after after 14 if it's not electric then what are we even talking about you feel me so we can talk about some of the quirky moves that he, he that he uses um some of the shit that is really really cheap so uh like like i was saying earlier with moves like jab and then going to down down back one plus two you know uh that's really cheap so i'm just gonna record jab and then down forward two with the uh, with the computer siachi and watch what happens if i try to jab after the uh, after he does that i get beat out every time and he's plus five so if i throw a jab out when he does that i get beat out and oftentimes if i throw a mid i get beat out so see how cheap that is that, that is that is that is extremely cheap that's not something you want to abuse though because it's minus uh it's minus 13 so i get a free punish so again like there's not really much to hiachi that you don't already know I just want to impart to you guys some uh some information that you know that i use and how i process things when i play the character uh hiachi to me is one of the most uh so i could just go to the to the camera here we pretty much don't wrap it up here uh he's pretty much one of the most straightforward mishimas you can ever play he's very simple very straight to the point electric punish hard punishment uh his lows are they hit hard but they they are very 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 vulnerable on block so you want to be careful about that you don't want to abuse it uh his pun uh his his stringing how you string like how you apply your pressure the jab the down forward one the down forward four the wild standing four these are tools that you're going to use a lot uh you don't want to over abuse anything you don't want to really be stringy as i showed you before how you can get floated out of a lot of things or how to, a lot of his strings have you can have you can du either duck it or you can just step out of the way and you end up getting hit for a lot of damage so that's pretty much hiachi in a nutshell i hope you guys enjoyed the video i just want to keep it give it brief make it simple straight to the point i want to be like my other guys where they're extremely long i mean it is easy to, they're easy to follow but they're extremely long and i know nobody wants to watch through all that everything will be time stamped as usual uh if you haven't subscribed to the channel already and you enjoy the content please subscribe to the channel i'll appreciate that uh so follow me on twitter uh instagram all that all that stuff will be at the bottom i hope you guys have a great one everything as i said before will be time stamped and you have a good day and i'll catch you in the next video peace out